What's going on guys? Blazing Tech. Here is my new to me ARE V-Series cap. But, as you guys know, if you're interested in buying a cap, you've got to wire it up. So that way that this third brake light right here functions in conjunction with all of your other brake lights. Because that is the law, unfortunately. So, in this video, I'm going to talk you guys through how to get it to work. And essentially, you're going to do a method called tapping. You're going to tap into this tail light right here. So this can all work together. And it's fairly easy. So first of all, let's take a look at the wiring from the camper itself. Now, I did buy this second hand. So essentially, I think there was an SAE connection, which is these guys right here. We're going to add one. But all you have in here are two wires. You can kind of see them peeking out right there. Um, I don't want to you know, break this weather shielding again. But, take my word for it, there's two wires in there. What we're gonna have to do is clean them up. Yeah, you can kinda see them right there. A positive and a ground, right? So your positive is gonna be tapping into the brake light of this tail light, into one of the wiring connectors, one of the wiring harnesses. And then, the second is gonna be your ground. And that's your black wire right there. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to run a wire up through this hole right here. And you can see the light peeking through there. That's the point at which we're going to run a wire between the tail light and into the bed. And we're going to use two SAE connections and have these out here just in case we need to pop the camper off. But essentially, all you have to really think about is if you're thinking about doing this, you have no idea, you're just tapping into this brake light and you're grounding it. And what grounding means is essentially you're putting a, a non-hot wire on something metal in case something short circuits or something like that. Additionally, in this setup, you've got a fuse right here and all camper shells will come with a fuse in the wire. So step one, to gain access to this tail light, you're gonna remove one, two, and three down here. Three 10 millimeter bolts. And essentially this tail light is gonna fold out. So, while my dad is doing that and tapping this brake light wire, and we'll show you the process of that, we're gonna run this connection down here into this hole right here where you kinda see that light peeking through, that little hole in the bed. And what's going to come through is going to be this standard SAE connection. You're going to see these bare wires are going to go down in here. And you'll see exactly how they come and wrap up and under and into the space where the tail light is mounted up. And you'll see that right now. So after removing these three bolts, you're not home free yet. There are some kind of... They're not clips, they're kind of like nipple connections. and You just have to wiggle the tail light out and not be afraid that you're going to break anything because you've removed all the bolts. And then again, you have to remember that these have to be accessible to the general public just in case one of your tail lights goes out or something like that. Any of these bulbs can go out. So don't be afraid and you can kind of put some force in here and you can get it right out. Plastic clip down here. Those attach right there and there. So don't be afraid. You can kind of massage the bottom one out, but you got to put a little bit of force in here to get the top one out, definitely. But the wiring harness we have in question, and that's a little spider. The wiring harness that we're going to be looking at is this one right here. And the wire that we're going to tap is going to be this blue one right here, the number one connection. This one, right? As you guys can see, we've got an abundance of space in here. And this is where we're gonna run that wire up when we're doing the tap. We're most likely gonna ground it somewhere in here. Maybe right there, depending right here, here. Very, there's a lot of choices. But this is where we are going to run the wire from the cab, or excuse me, from the bed to the housing of the tail. Okay, as you can see here, I'm gonna catch this. a lot of slack but as you can see the standard connection is right in here definitely so we've successfully run the wire 
So as you can see, we're up and under the truck. And what we're gonna do for added protection and added peace of mind, so we're gonna zip tie our wire to this wiring loom right here, the factory wiring from Toyota for the tail light. And we're gonna do that just in case, you know, something comes up and under and snags this wire. And it's just a smart idea to zip tie it to here. That way this wire doesn't move. Because remember, we've got a lot of slack up there. So what we had to do was open up the factory wiring and you can see that there's some weather shielding there that we had to cut. And now, because we don't have a tap and we're going to just splice right in, we're taking off this factory electrical tape. And once you're finished with your tap and everything, you're going to want to tape all this back up properly. But just to have more space to work with, we're undoing everything from the factory. But we will tape it all up again, and you should do the same. <coughs> so using this using the smallest smallest gauge and just what you're going to do is you're going to feel for a bite and basically you're just going to massage the protection of the wires down and you definitely want to be very very careful with this as you can see we've exposed enough wire to successfully tap into our brake light but this part is probably the most crucial to be extremely careful and we've successfully done that as you can see you don't need too much, but just enough. So we've successfully tapped it, as you can see. We cut that wire, exposed it, and we've wrapped it around the exposed bit of the OEM wiring. Now, and as you can see here, we're going to get that ground and we're going to probably put it right there. But this is a successful tap. Before we button everything up, we're obviously going to do a test and make sure that everything works. But this part is done. The most stressful part is done, and we just need to tape it all up. All right, guys, so we have successfully tapped into this tail light to wire our third brake light in our camper shell. As you can see here, everything works as it should. So if somebody was to pump the brakes, you'd see exactly how that works. There we go. So here's my final wiring, as you can see here. We had a little bit of guesswork to do. Like I said, I picked up this shell secondhand, so the wiring doesn't look the same as it was in the beginning. That's because we had to redo some of it up here. But we've gone ahead and closed up all the weather stripping, and everything is perfect as it should. And as you can see here, I've got my standard connections down here. If I ever needed to take the shell off, as you can see from those four clamps, I can just disconnect this and not have to worry about ever having to, you know, take this off ever again. This is going to be set up and ready to roll for any camper, even if I change this one. But as you can see here, all of my wiring is spick and spam. I just need to run it up here and tuck it away a little bit better. I kind of got tired of working on it, but everything works as it should. And if you guys follow the steps in this video, watch it a couple times. I guarantee you, you guys could do it too. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't seen my truck, my truck is actually really, really, really cool. I would implore you to check out my channel because I'm going to go ahead and say that this is one of the rarest third gen Tacomas that you'll ever see. And I want you to check out my channel and tell me if I'm wrong or tell me if I'm right. And I want you to see what kind of truck I've got. Anyway, guys. Boys and Tech, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Let's get one more of that brake light. There we go. Perfect.